Da, 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 da. It is time. Welcome to today's vlog. I can't believe that we're here again in this space that you guys, it kind of started it all for us on YouTube. It is May the 9th, I believe it is. You guys are seeing this probably a week or two later, but we are officially starting to open our pool for the season. If you are new here, we live in Canada, so we have to close our pool from about October to May when the weather is cold and unable to use because it costs too much to run the pool in the winter. And obviously we get snowstorms and things like that. It just, nobody really leaves their pool open unless, I guess, unless you're, like got a lot of money. This process takes a couple days to complete from the time that we open it, then it's adding in chemicals and waiting for the water to, you know, balance out. So it's gonna take a few days, but we are so excited to share it with you guys. Actually, the pool closing video is one of our most popular videos we've ever shared. I think that one on shorts alone had 30 million views. I had no idea people were so interested in this content. So here you go. You saw us close the pool. Now you get to see us open the pool. Here is what it has looked like all winter long. We've have the safety cover on it to protect the dogs and you know anything else from falling in the pool. And then this space as well, we finished this last summer. If you've seen our videos before, we didn't get much time to use it before we had to lock everything up for the winter, but we're gonna give it a good cleaning get all of our patio furniture out. And then we have another project to tackle it as well. This area all around our pool, which might have to be a separate video because it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a task. So the first step in this process is pulling back the cover and seeing what we're working with. So let's take a look. doesn't look that bad. Pretty comparable to last year, a little bit cloudy. And there was, for some reason, a giant stick that may made its way into the pool, but pretty good. A benefit of this cover too is that the water can pass through it when it rains and snows and things like that. So we don't have to add water to it. But last year we had to run the hose and let it fill for a couple hours. That's nice that we won't have to do that this year. So the next step, we're going to hook up all our pool equipment. We take it apart in the winter because you want to winterize it. This is a cartridge filter, which means it's not full of sand. It's easy to move, and I'd rather keep it inside over the winter. Same as the pump. There, that's good. Thanks, mate. You're welcome, mate. There's a plug in here that I have to remove. That's just to keep animals and whatever from uh, crawling in there. Make sure your electrical is shut off before you start playing around with this as well. I'm gonna wet them a bit too so that they slide on easy. I spit on it. We have plugs in the return jets that we need to remove and able to put the eyeballs back in. Okay, wait, look how gross. You know the muffin man. All right, everybody, here's a little update of what's happening right now. So we just added some chlorine to the pool. So it's a nice cloudy 
mess right now. But once that chlorine starts to work, it should become clearer. Um, I did set it up for a little time lapse, but I'm not sure if you guys could even see a difference. But in the meantime, we are gonna get our robot vacuum going to start cleaning everything off the ground. Andrew had the brush out and he was scrubbing the walls and kind of mixing everything up that's sitting on the bottom level of the pool. But the robot vacuum will do a really good job of getting in there and sucking everything out. So you guys will see that right now. Basement update. Check it out. Still a mess. <laughs> Looks worse. So this is a robot vac that was sent to us. Aqua products. It's got a little filter in here that you take out. You hose it off, clean it out. Pretty easy. You put it in. Done. You drop it in the pool. You want to just kind of lower it in. Let it fill with water. It's going to sink. It's linked on our Amazon storefront if you want to get your own. Pretty much any scale or staining that happened over the winter, this is, will help clear it up. So this is the first chemical you put in when you open your pool. Then you want to add your uh, oxidizer. The following day, you add the algicide. Next on the agenda, while the vacuum runs, we're going to clean the composite decking. Composite. You know, some of you say composite. We're Canadian, we say composite. Um, we're going to give it a good clean. This was installed last year, if you guys were watching our videos. Um, so it's still new but it's very dirty because with renovating the basement, we use the basement door as our point of access. So you guys will see that now. It's about to get really wet, man. Here's what we're using. Purchase at Home Depot. Wood deck and fence cleaner, safe for use on composite. a few moments later. This video is kind of turning into like how we prepare for the summer, but one of the things we need to do is clean our patio furniture. So I bought this cleaner brush off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description and you can just like motorize brush it and it comes with all the different like attachments for it. So we're gonna try it out on here. Also, because I know somebody's gonna ask, this set is from Lowe's many years ago. They don't carry this exact one anymore that they, they brought out like a similar version of it last year that was a sectional. We still love it even after all these years because the couch cushions are really thick and on a lot of um, outdoor furniture nowadays, the cushions are really small. It like looks like doll furniture. It's all so small. Get over here, babe. 
Come on in for the intro. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of opening the pool. We were out last night for a few hours. I didn't film any of it, but we were putting our patio furniture all in its place. I took all the covers off the cushions and washed them. And we've got our dining set, the pool table, um, getting everything set out. But today we've got to add more chemicals. I'll show you the pool. It is already looking a lot better than it was yesterday. We had the robot vacuum going and doing a couple laps all day yesterday it just kept coming out more and more full lots of dirt and worms and things like that under there but you can see the bottom now which is a big improvement than it was yesterday and by the end of the day today i think it's going to be pretty much crystal clear so the last thing that we have to add is the algae side so i'll do that now Oh boy. We might have made a little mistake in putting the patio furniture out before finishing opening the pool because I've been here for the last two hours and we're not getting much done at all. I will show you that the pool looks a lot cleaner and Andrew just vacuumed. I'll show you the footage of that. It's super satisfying and scrubbed the walls and used a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to clean all around the exterior and the skimmer. Not everybody has to do that, but our pool is a little grimy after sitting. So it's kind of nice to get that done. So we need to add stabilizers for our pool water. Um, typically when it's a newly filled pool, or it's been closed for a while, the stabilizer will be low. I pour it directly into the skimmer and it's a fast acting. It usually all ends up in the filter. It just breaks down in there. What's up guys, day three of opening the pool. I'm not even sure where this video is going at this point because I film and then I don't film again for like another eight hours or the next day or I don't know. But the pool looks amazing, let me show you. So by the third day, it's nice and clear. We do have a bit of a film over the top of the pool that you can really see in this video because as I showed you yesterday, the pollen from this tree just makes such a mess. But I love that tree. Maybe we will have to cut it down because this is pretty, it's got a whole film over the pool. Andrew's adding some pH down to, oh, pH up, pH up to the water. Did you make a wish? <laughs> We actually just came from one of our local pool stores. They were having a start of summer sale. And so all of their patio furniture and dining sets were marked down so cheap, um, really nice sets. So we actually ended up buying one unexpectedly. I thought it was gonna be like $2,000 cheaper than it was, but somehow it ended up costing a lot more. But we kind of wanted to splurge and get a nice heavy duty dining set because this one here obviously looks very tiny in this, big space and it's so light and cheap that when we get a lot of wind through here it blows the table around we've had the chairs end up in the pool so we got kind of a expensive one Ta-da! There's our new set. It has the extender in the middle. We're gonna keep it that long because I think it actually looks nice under here. Yeah, for how? Yeah, I think for how big this space is. They step back. Yeah, we'll keep it that long. Why not? These chairs are also the reclining chairs. I think I said that earlier, but this is why we got them. It's because they have the button on the side, and then you can just hang on. I'll demonstrate. Just press the button. Ooh! After you eat a big meal, you can like. Recline back. 
Welcome to the final day of opening our pool. This is the last step in the pool opening process. The pool looked beautiful. After days of putting chemicals in, cleaning the water, vacuuming, brushing the sides, getting it all nice, it looks crystal clear. So I think that we might be able to jump in today or tomorrow. We haven't run the heater yet, so it is a little chilly still. I'm not quite sure what the temperature would be. I'm gonna guess probably in the 60s, but it looks immaculate. Yesterday, we spent some time adding in the salt um, and moving it around the side so that the salt dissolves. We do have a saltwater pool. I don't know if I've said that before, but our pool is saltwater versus chlorine. So is there anything I have to tell them about that? No. Why do we have a saltwater pool? You don't have to physically add chlorine as it uses it. The, the salt, there's a salt cell that through electrosis will turn the salt into chlorine and duh electrosis you know somebody commented one of you commented on our last video that went up this past sunday no they were like i love watching your videos although i don't understand what andrew's saying half the time there's a, a low <laughs> salt salt content in the pool water which is there's a salt cell which you can change the output depending on like if it's really hot out it's going to burn more chlorine so you turn that up or down and it produces chlorine on demand pretty much instead of physically adding it. So there's a lower chlorine level in your pool and it's like not as harsh on your body apparently. I don't know if that's true. They but. do say it's better for your hair and your skin versus chlorine that'll dry you out. And also like bathing suits, the colors won't fade in salt water. Um, don't you don't? I don't believe it, no. I don't think I don't it's know. like that big a difference. You do add less chemicals, though, in a saltwater pool than chlorine, according to Andrew. If that's wrong, uh, you didn't hear it from me. When I said electrosis, what I actually meant was electrolysis. Sometimes I mix my words up. <laughs> We're going to test the levels in the pool. Um, I got the chlorinator going, so I just want to make sure it's actually working and there is chlorine in the pool. Okay, so the pH looks good. Chlorine is good. The stabilizer is a bit low, but it's it's okay. So yeah, everything looks within range, so it's good. Temperature check. It's 68. Whoa, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's not that cold. Should we jump in? Okay, here we go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it either. We have to do this. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. Okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Go. <laughs> Do it. Okay. One, two, three, jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.